every boxing you think of, who's who, was a great bag fighter. All the greats, all. Rocky Marciano, great bag fighter. Muhammad Ali, back when he was classic clip, pretty good bag fighter. All the greats, though. Lou Allison, great bag fighter. You didn't know that. But bag fighting, bag fighting, it's where it's at. Hey, we done heard about the bag, you know what I'm saying? We done heard about the bag, talking all this junk. The bag is my boy Julie Pride. He's a dumb nice son. I remember seeing him, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we from Queens or whatever, kid. We went up to uh, took an A train up to uh, 41 Legs, right? And we were telling you, you know what I'm saying? He nigga had a little uh, uh, black and white cookie. You know what I'm seeing? A little black and white cookie, you know what I'm saying? And this little young nigga tried to run up on me, he said, BOW, nigga! And he knocked him out, son. It was hard, dog. It was hard. They were like, yo, yo Julie's gonna be in a box, kid. Yeah, I, I know Julie. Julie's a great kid. Got a lot of heart. Julie's good fundamentals. But this is the bag. The bag. This bag is easily one of the best fighters of our generation. This bag, I don't know, I'm kind of scared. He's a good kid, but he has a long life. It's, it's gonna be rough. Like Bobby Brown. Worried about the fight? Never. I mean, it's a punching bag. What's he gonna do? That fool Julius is gonna hurt me. I told him not to. I told him, you know, leave the bag alone. He's not ready for the bag. Right? If people think he's gonna run through the bag like he ran through the speed bag, the water cooler, dog. People don't understand. That water cooler is on the downside. That water cooler is not what it's used to be. But I mean, people don't give the bag a lot of respect. And that's what makes the bag a great fighter. You can't sleep on the bag. It's not a sleeping bag. I mean, it's not a good idea. You can't sleep on me. I ain't a sleeping bag. I'm a referee for this fight. Um, not sure why I'm doing it though, because um, you know I'm a basketball ref. Uh, but uh, they enlisted me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Getting paid. So, you know, that's all that really matters, I guess. I'm ready for this fight. Because I know it's going to be a bad one. You better go buy a chicken. No scissors, I guess, to start. Um, no just items of anything that could puncture the bag, I suppose, would be good. Uh, I would go talk to the bag, but it's an inanimate object, and uh, yeah, I, I guess I would like to say uh, good luck to you, um, by the way, for the fight, and this is utterly ridiculous, you're fighting a bag. You ready? Hey, you ready, ready for the yeah. fight? Yeah. This your fight. Hey, this is your time, son. You ready? Son, you ready? You ready? I don't care what nobody said. This is your time. Hey, yo, Mike, you got this kid, son. Right, round, round, round one. As far as his boxing career, this, this is almost as bad as Holyfield, Tyson, Sicily, not Mike. Um, this is just bad. This is just, wow. I honestly. Hey, yo, son. Yo, check out the album coming through. I got yo, Johns. Goonie Goo Goo's in the place to be east side. Gangsta Gangsta, get a sidekick, myspace.com. Holla at me. You know what I'm saying? We kicking out Cassie Petey. Sign me, please. I've been outside Bad Boy for like three, four weeks. I'm like, hey, I know you no. see me, kid. I, no. I, no, no man. Next year, you know, we got pom pom football season, um, basketball, basketball season. Wait, is there something to be talking junk? What's up? What's up? Yo, yo, we're gonna get a new fight for you, son. We got a new fight for you.